chapitre 7. Que les anges déchirent, qui n'ont pas gardé leur place, ont été jetés en du ciel. Parce qu'il y a une place pour chacun. Parce qu'ils ont voulu plus que la place que Dieu les avait donnée dans son gouvernement. Ils sont devenus des tourelles. The message of Pastor Theodore Andosi at the 11th night of the fasting praise and prayer crusade consisted in two axes, a further review of the Lord Jesus' way of building the kingdom and a short teaching on the making of disciples. About the first axis, Brother Theodore said, Jesus is our model and we learn from him how to be the spiritual nation. The leader explained once more that the vision of Jesus covered the whole mankind, creation, eternity in space and time. However, his mission and ministry, his apostleship when he was on earth, was limited to the nation of Israel. On this, he commented that God, the builder of all, has a place for each one in his building, and each one is to stay in the place assigned to him. However, Many men of God fall into sin, die, backslide, because they have gone beyond the limits of their calling. By the time you start desiring the anointing, the ministry, the gifts of somebody else, you have become a fallen angel because jealousy, envy come in, further said the leader. When you do more than what you have been given because you want to be like others, you will lose your position. This truth is illustrated in the Bible by such characters as King Uzziah, Miriam, Lucifer, Gehazi. Each one should therefore explore the extent of the appointment and stay within the limits of this appointment. Appointment, what Afiodo said, is definition and limitations. To introduce the second axis, but a theorist specified once more that the Lord Jesus built the kingdom by investing himself in the making of disciples. He disclosed that we use the making of disciples in two ways. The first way, which is a pastoral way, consists in leading somebody to the Lord and building him till he is established in the Lord and in the church. In other words, we lead a person to the Lord, we teach him, we show him our own life so that he will be established in the Lord, in the church, in the ministry. The goal of such making of disciples is maturation. It is to produce people that can take care of themselves in the Lord Jesus. Unfortunately, Brother said, many that have belief in the Lord Jesus are not in that category. The average believer does not know the call of God on his life. He does not know continuous communion with God. He does not manifest the fruit of the Spirit. He does not know victory over the enemy, victory over himself, over the world, over sin, over his habits, over demons, and so on. This state exists because of the failure in the making of disciples, because of the failure to build people to live a victorious Christian life. This pastoral way of making disciples is what God is asking of us for phase three, namely, one million such pastors who have under them 50 to 100 sheep whom they make into disciples. The attention and the teaching given to the sheep in this way is pastoral. Believers are built into disciples in this way so that they can carry responsibilities and be fruitful. It is a natural process of maturation, Brother Theodore said. Maturation leads to multiplication, concluded Brother Theodore, as he gave the short form formula, MM, that is, maturation leads to multiplication. One million such pastors, a million de tel pasteur, who have in their hands, qui ont entre leurs mains, 50 to 100 people, entre 50 et 100 personnes, to whom they are giving attention, à qui ces pasteurs donnent de l'attention, à whom they are teaching, et que ces pasteurs sont en train d'enseigner, Within the context of their lives.